Macros give you the ability to record a set of operations. You save these operations as a macro. Then when you need to perform the same actions again, you can run the macro and the macro will perform those operations for you. Let's take a look at this controller. You can see it's fairly large. There's quite a lot of methods in here. When I see a controller or class like this, I prefer to view the code folded, but have the doc blocks expanded. So let's see what I mean. I'll fold my code with control shift minus that folds everything expand just this opening node and you'll see that yes the methods are there but the dot blocks are folded I prefer to view it like that so let's see how macros can help me here the first thing I'm going to do is set a shortcut to expand the dot blocks so control shift a and I'm going to type keyboard I can spell that right, keyboard shortcuts. In here, I'm gonna type expand doc. There you go. I'm just gonna add a keyboard shortcut to that and we're gonna make that control alt Q. Hit okay. So that's saved. Click okay again. So now if I hit control alt Q, you can see that yes, my doc blocks are visible and my methods are folded. That's how I'd like to see this class. So how would I recall or why would I need a macro for this? So if everything was expanded like so, I would have to do control shift and minus, control and plus, and then control alt and Q. So that's something I would prevent myself from doing. So let's see how a macro can help. Let's expand everything again. Now let's record a macro. We do control shift A and type record. So it says start, stop recording. Let's click that. Now on the bottom, you can see it says macro recorded started, macro recording started. So what we're gonna do is start recording. So what we're gonna do is do control shift and minus, then control plus, then control alt Q. That's it. Now we're gonna click this button here and it stops the macro recording and let's start typing. Fold all, but keep docs expanded. Click OK. Let's expand everything. And now let's see if our macro works. We go to Edit, Macros, and our named macro. And perfect, it works. To take a step further, we do Control shift a and go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And now, we should be able to search for our macro here. So if we start typing fold all, here we go, we have fold all, but keep docs expanded. So we can add a keyboard shortcut to that. Let's make it control and number sign, hit okay. Click okay down here. So if we sh expand everything and do control and number pad, there we go. So that's how macros work. They're very useful. We can edit the existing one. So if you go to macros and then go to edit macros, you can see we have ours there and it has our actions there and we can minus them. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button.